Alright, so I'm just uh, here in my new home. Uh, and this is really nice. I like it in here. I'm, I'm thinking of never leaving. Ah, shit. Alright, we are back with Curse of the Pharaohs. Uh, last time we did a, some side quests. And, okay, that was a bit loud. That was, it was a bit loud. I didn't like that. Uh, let me just turn this down a bit. Uh, last time we did some side quests. Uh, but I also then streamed. And did some side quests. We're level 50 and we're, you know, it's fine. We'll just get on with this bloody quest. And we'll go and find and speak to the uh, antiquarian. And that'll be alright. The, the go to the bloody man. Uh, oh shit, we don't have a viewpoint around here. Let's go here then. And we'll sail across the Nile. And that'll be alright. I'm looking forward to see where this goes. Uh, I'm not sure how long we have left of it, but I mean, we've already done how many episodes now? A lot of them. Like nine? This is episode 10, right? I don't fucking know. This is crazy. Like, how many episodes do of like Brotherhood? I don't know. But <clears throat> I think like 20, 21, something like that. Uh, this is taking up loads, and it's like, Origins itself took me, was it 28 episodes, 27 episodes, something like that? Um, and this is, you know, this is a DLC, and it's taking its bloody time, so who fucking knows? But uh, I'm really fucking loving it, I'm really enjoying it, having a great time. Uh, Really fucking sick DLC. Like, I've been tweeting about it non-stop, being like, uh, just giving it endless fucking praise. Because uh, I just love it. Honestly, really fucking do. Um, okay, let's get on this boat. Let's go across here. Let's uh, get across the other side. I like these boats, because they're very, uh, I don't know, just very peaceful, aren't they? Music's really nice. I love it. It's great. Okay. Um. Shit, I guess we gotta dive in. Something that I wish wasn't on screen all the time is the level bar at the top right. Like, what level you are and whatever. It's like, why is that just sitting there on the screen? Like, can you go away? That'd be great. Um, and if the rest of the hub was like a bit more transparent, that'd be great as well. Like I feel like it's a bit, it can be a bit intrusive. The game also likes to give you tips all the time and like hints and stuff that will just pop up and be like, "Oh, did you know that you can climb walls in the game?" It's like I've been playing for such a long time. Do you think I don't know this? Stop telling me. Actually, can I turn those off? Is there an option for that? You would have thought most games have options to just turn all hints off, but. Probably not, right? Yeah, look, nothing. Enemy proximity feedback. Nah, it's not. No, that's not what I want. I want the... Damn it, yeah, you can't turn it off. Okay, that's really annoying. Because it'll just all of a sudden be like, oh, to access your quest, you can press the middle button or whatever. Like... Things just pop up on the screen too often. That's what I think. The HUD's way too intrusive in this game, which is annoying. It's way less intrusive than the other AC games. It's just still a bit too intrusive. Like, look. Objective and proximity call. So anyway, it's like, I fucking know. I've been playing this game for so long. I understand. Just let me figure it out. Target located. I know. You've got, you just, you've changed the icon. It's gone from that yellow one to this gold one to show me that this is a specific location we've located the target you don't need to tell me in text on the screen i'm not fucking stupid like we don't need all these like prompts on the screen it's really unnecessary um like that was that necessary to pop in the traitor. middle of the screen or what what the fuck me do you care nothing for our ancestors you raped their tombs our history atamis would desecrate them without my help at least this way i protect what i can protect this is nothing but going to you. More drachma to lose on the roll of a dice. Priestess, I beg you, be prudent. Trust me. Justice will be served. These are not pharaohs. They are our brothers. Fathers. Mothers. And trust me. Our mothers will have retribution. Oh damn. 
seems to be a habit of yours by arriving in the nick of time. Since when have you been working for tomb robbers, Tahamed? Our little altercation at the gambling den did not go unanswered. I had a choice. Prison, or helping soldiers to catalog the tombs. Ah, so you are the antiquarian Merthi spoke of. You have been researching the Mahat ritual, huh? Raz, breath, keep your voice down. Uh, if Atami's men hear that I've been hiding things from them, walk with me. And please, try not to bring too much attention to yourself. Are they going to put us straight into gameplay? Oh, I love it when games do that. are here, in the necropolis of the nobles. I haven't had a chance to review them all yet, but there are red-haired worshippers, an orb. Wait, could they be Ramesses' descendants? Ah, speaking of the great pharaoh, I have a fascinating papyrus that... Uh, perhaps I should see the ritual for myself. Go carefully. The tombs are crawling with Atami's men. If you find the orb, I would love to see it. A relic passed down from the gods. A once in a lifetime find. Once? Huh. I wish it was so. May your blade be firm against your enemies, Bayek. Sweet. I love this DLC. It's so, so well done. So fucking well done. Alright, let's speak to her. No? What? What do you mean? That's the bloody quest. What would you want? What do we do then? I don't know what to do. We've got to wait for her to get back in here or something? No? What? What do you want? Unavailable. Do you have to wait until daytime or something? Let's see if that fixes it. But God, I love this DLC. I love the intricacy and like just the characters. I love that they've done returning characters. It's like they've they've took on board what we said, although they couldn't have. Because it was made already. Look at this. Tell me, what do you see? I see you. Exactly where I left you. Pouring over dusty papyrus and losing more than you win on dice. <laughs> Knowledge is not necessarily wisdom, by it. You have heard of Ramesses II, yes? The great pharaoh. Father to a hundred children. Uh huh? He is the pharaoh who walks. How do you know? This speaks of it. Strange. Because it must be a thousand years old. A great king. His soul fragmented. It does not say why he is here. Revenge? Or he has unfinished business? Mm, as do we all. Wait, Bayek. Let me see before you get yourself killed. Pharaoh's name. Pharaoh's shadow. Ancient ritual. It's all here. If he is like the others, I know what needs to be done. But I will need the parchment. Of course. So, about my finder's fee? Or you could give it to me from the goodness of your heart. <laughs> Unless you already lost that on another bad roll of the dice. <laughs> Take it with my blessing. Ah. Ra protect you, Bayek. Sweet. I love Bayek. I love him so much. Alright, nice. The pharaoh's jib. The shout is red. Oh, what? Hold up. What's going on? Why do we have like a billion quests now? Oh, Jesus fucking cunt. Okay. Investigate the necrop- Oh my- What? What? You bloody what, mate? Find the lotus! Oh my god. So if I click that, this what is it all going to do? Complete blood in the water. Okay. What does that want me to do, though? Oh, so this is another quest. Oh my god, what is going on? I have like 60 fucking quests happening at once. Okay, hold on. Which one's important to which one? I guess we could do this one now, couldn't we? Because this was... 
Yeah, and then we've got King, the King of Kings. Um, prepare the ritual. Find and defeat Ramesses Shadow. Get the scry. I guess let's do this first then, because this is this shouldn't be too difficult, right? Um, I guess we've got to go around this way. Good fucking god. They've really... So many quests. Simply so many fucking quests. Um, right, how do we get to here then? Do you have to go through here, or do we go over the top, or like what? Oh, here we go. Okay, I think we're... No, there's no one here. 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 Bike, bike, please, bike. There's no one here. What the fuck, man? Okay. Well, there was only for that, was there? Okay. Get him! Bloody hell. Okay. Where are the rest of these investigation points? Oh, I guess. Hang on. Go. Let's drop down. Let's go. What's this? Washing the relic. But the rays are missing. What? You bloody what, mate? Who the fuck's that? Oh shit. Oh god, I've just I've just destroyed so much. Oh my god, hold up. Drop, roll. No. Okay, hold up. Dim him. There you go. Good god, there's so many guys. I didn't realize there were so many guys down here. Hold up. Let's just. It's so echoey in here as well. Let's loot that. Bloody hell. Okay, is this an interactive thing here? God knows, bro. What's going on here? It's very interesting shit. Okay, there's another one up there. How do we get up there then? This way? I'd assume so. Yeah, there you go. The descendants that Tahimit spoke of. All right. A woman holds the relic aloft. The wife of the Aten, Nefertiti. Did it hold any real power then, or was it just symbolic? They bring the descendants of Ramesses forward, but the ritual, it is not to the goddess of truth, but dedicated to another god, the twin plumes of Amun. The ritual restores Ma'at to everything under the sky, in honor of the Lord of Thebes and the god's wife at his side. The priests have the relic. She has been lying to me from the beginning. Oh shit. You bloody what? She brought down the Pharaoh's curse. Shit, she has it. Find and assassinate Isadora, but she was alright. Oh no. Bloody hell, what fucking wench. Right, let's go bloody get her. She brought down the Pharaoh's curse. Try to justify it to me. Zidora's argument with Tahamet. Could her own mother be buried here? Oh my god, we have like a million quests still. Okay, so we just did that and got two more quests. So we've got find and assassinate Isadora. Oh my god. Okay, and what the fuck's this one? Okay, let's... Should we go back to doing the... Oh my god, we've got so many fucking quests. Okay. Should we do this? 
prepare for this ritual, I guess. Should we complete a Pharaoh's shadow? Complete Pharaoh's heart and name. Okay, a Pharaoh's shadow. Defeat the Ramesses' shadow. The city of Thebes. Alright, so we're gonna go back to the city of Thebes and hope that Ramesses shows up. <clears throat> Alright, we can do that. Simple. Bloody simple. We got this. We'll do him in. It'll be great. I really hope we get a sword, like, specific to this DLC, because I'm getting super sick of the sword. <laughs> Bloody... Was it? The, it's not the Conductor of Souls. It's the the other one you get for killing Sekhmet. Um, sort of the do up. Getting fucking sick of it. Doesn't he normally show up around here? Or like down here? Yeah, he does, doesn't he? I don't know what to do then. Do we just wait? I guess. I mean, I don't know. Like, how often do they show up? When do they show up? Like, I don't. I don't know. Should we just, like, wait until night and see if it shows up, or, like... Because how do we get them to show up? I don't know. Let's wait until night time. Oh, yeah. And see if it, see if it appears. Ah, there you go. That'll be, that'll be him, won't it? Alright, come on, horse. Oh, by the way, I got this horse. You get it, um, let me just show you just for anyone that doesn't know, although I was told how to. It's down here. This stable right here. You get for 5,000 drachma. Um, and he's fucking beautiful. Look at him. Um, I love him. So that's great. That's a good little thing you can do. Uh, and he's the bloke, the bloke. He's the bloody horse from the, uh, thing from the, from the afterlife, isn't he? You do not belong here, great one. Time to do you in, mate. Is that him? Okay, let's try and do him in. Yeah, it is Ramesses, isn't it? Okay. Okay, I think you do more damage on a horse. Although I am, might be making this up. Oh, good god. Okay, right, we're done with that. Oh no, the poor man! Okay, he's fucking killing me. Alright. Come on, we've got to do him in. We've got to do him in. We can't not. Oh no. Okay, let's just overpower move. That should restore my health because we've got that perk, right? Okay. <clears throat> What are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Okay, okay, we can do him, we can do him. He's just taking a while, that's all. I wonder what a uh, stealth kill would do on him. No, he's returned to the afterlife! No, don't! We- Ugh, Fuck's sake. That's not fair, you don't get enough time to fucking kill them. So if I wait, and then he shows back up, is his health gonna be the same? Or is it gonna be... Like... Is it gonna be back to full? Because if it's back to full, then I don't know how to do this. I'd assume he recharges his health, in which case, this is gonna be quite tough. Because we can't take him out. I'll see if I can do a stealth kill on him. Or like a stealth attack, anyway. And do a bit of damage to him from here. Because you can do that to, like, the, uh... What are they called? The bloody, uh... The fire legs. Okay. Or Falakatai. Okay, let's... No, he's got full health again, you fuck! Ah, this is never gonna work. We can't do it. Oh god, he's fucking fucking me up, isn't he? I can try and use this weapon. If it doesn't work, then 
This ain't gonna fucking work. We can't. No, I can't. We can't kill him. I don't know. It's fucking broken. Like, there's no. We cannot kill this guy. It would be fine if he just stayed around, but he doesn't. He goes back to the afterlife and recharges all his health. So it's like the only way we can do it to be super over level. But I've got enemy scaling on, so he's always going to go up to my level. Are we going to have to turn it down to easy? Like, I don't know the secret behind this. She brought down the Pharaoh's curse. Try to justify Fuck it, we'll do different quests then. We'll do this one then. We'll go and kill Isadora. This is how I will quieten the great promises. Let's go and take out Isadora instead, because, I mean, she needs to die. She's fucking... I mean, she's got the, the apple, I think. Um, so I guess we'll have to go take her out. The only thing is, if we take her out... Isn't she gonna, like... Like, if we get the apple and sort that out, isn't that gonna cancel out all the other quests? Because, like, we don't need to do that if we have the apple, because we can figure it out, right? I don't know. Proximity, it's calling Senu. Okay, there you go. Let's go and find her and assassinate her. Steal her in. I swear, if this place is like um, a high proximity area where you can get detected, it'd be bullshit because we've come in here before and like she has no idea we're trying to kill her, so it'd be fucking weird. Uh, maybe it won't be the really corrupts, absolutely. Isidora cannot believe this is the will of the gods. God, she bloody lied though, what bitch? Alright, let's go get her. Let's go bloody do her in. I just gotta hop through it. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck me. <coughs> the coughing returns, boys. Uh, right, how do I get in here? Oh, I thought she was like, way further in, what the heck? Is she like, running away? There you go, we got it, boys. Wait, what? So it wasn't her? The relic. It is twisting what I see. I must find her. So there are no Anubis guards in here? No, it's just normal blokes. Ooh. It's very Assassin's Creed, isn't it? <clears throat> okay, we need to get over there then. Okay, I don't I don't want to be detected. It's it's too much fucking hassle. No, what? That's bullshit. How did that fucking happen? Oh, yo! Yo! Did I actually just fucking do that? That was sick. Yo! We nicely stealthed that. That was pretty sick, to be honest. Okay. Gotta figure out where she is. Okay, so I've gotta go investigate her quarters. This is that place where I was like, we'll have to come in here at some point. I was right. Delete all this. Locked. Hmm. Whatever her reasons for doing this, they must be behind this door. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Locked. How do we get in then? Okay, okay, bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to try with that again. Do we go up and then... How do we get in here then? Ah, oh, there you go. It's just a fucking window. Can 
one. In you go. As the wife of the hidden one, she would keep her secrets close. Indeed. She is trying to feel. Okay. She wanted justice for the murder of her mother. Mm -hmm. But she could kill countless in a misguided quest for balance and truth. There you go, and we can't we can't be having that. A hidden tomb in the Valley of the Kings. The thieves never found it. Okay. She always had the relic. <sighs> what a bitch. on the Ma'at ritual by Nitocris. God's wife of Amun. Could this be his? Ah oh, shit, I didn't mean to go off that. I didn't realize it would end the thing. She means to finish what her oh. mother started. A ritual to restore Ma'at in the hidden tomb of the long forgotten Pharaoh. Oh shit. Reach the tomb of Tutankhamun? Is this gonna, but is this gonna like do away with our other quests? Cause like, I feel like this is the ending. Like this feels like the ending. So what's going on with all the other quests that we have to do you regarding- You belong here, great one. What? Um, anyway, I like, it's like, do we do like, what the fuck? Do we do Ramesses first and then come back to this two and Carmen stuff? Because it feels like the ending. Because if we're going to get the apple, that feels like the end. Which order are we meant to do these in? I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Uh, let's just check the the quest levels. I guess we should we should do the lower level ones first, like that one. So we do these and then that one. Um, okay. Well, in that case, next episode we can go ahead and we'll do the. Uh, Stuff for Ramesses. Then we'll do this uh, other level 51 one. And then we'll go back to this and we'll do stuff to uh, reach the Tomb of Two and Carmoon. So, God, everything's picking up. It's just getting great. The pacing's been good. Oh, I love this DLC so much. It's so much fun. I'm having such a fucking great time playing this. Uh, again, like as always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Have you, have you picked it up? Because um, it's a bloody great time. All right. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one, boys.